Hey guys, this is NST Never Stop Traveling and today we're going to go over how to travel to six different places for under $700. Alright, right now we are, let's see, we're on Safari. We're actually going to go to Google, um, Google Chrome, and you're going to go over here to this little box up in the upper right hand corner. Um, once you click onto your, your Google Chrome uh, search engine and you're going to go to incognito mode. Um, you're going to go incognito mode and then you're going to type in sky scanner. So once you type in Skyscanner, it'll pop up on Google, and then you'll click on this one. It'll bring you to this site. I've already typed in some of the locations just to make this easier. Um, so what you're going to do is once this the Skyscanner page flight pops up, you'll click on the flights, and then you click on to multi-city. Once you get onto multi-city, you'll have one flight or two flights up here, and then you just keep on adding them. Um, we're going to go on this particular trip. We're going to go from Bali to Manila, Philippines, Bali, Indonesia to Manila, Philippines, from uh, the Philippines to Taipei, uh, Taiwan, from Taiwan to Okinawa, Japan, um, from Okinawa, Japan to Tokyo, from Tokyo to Seoul, Korea. We're going to add one more location. Let's go from Seoul to Vladivostok, Vladivostok, Russia, um, and then we're going to go from... Let's do um, let's do February. So we're gonna start with February fifth. This is it's October right now, so it's about four or so months in advance. We're gonna spend a week in each location. So Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are actually the cheapest days of the week to fly. So I definitely recommend putting it on those days because if you don't, um, you might get upcharged. And we're trying to get the best price, the best bang for our buck. So. Now that you have all your dates in, you have all your locations, this is six different flights, you're going to go to search. Once you search flights, um, Skyscanner will search through multiple multiple different uh, search engines, multiple different companies, and try to get you the best price. This is actually going to probably take us a few times to get under $700, but um, I'll show you as, as we go. So it's checking the first provider. Let's see if it gives us a flight. It'll probably be around 1,200. We're shooting for under seven, obviously, or as low as we can go. Wow, we actually got really lucky. So um, this uh, went really well. We didn't have to search multiple times in different dates, but we we're able to go um, to. We we're able to get a flight for 606 dollars, under almost 100 dollars less than the price I said. $606 for a flight between um, Indonesia to the Philippines, from the Philippines to Taipei, Taiwan, from Taiwan to Okinawa, Japan, from Okinawa, Japan to uh, Narita, which is a northern airport of Tokyo, from Tokyo, Japan to, um, looks like Seoul, Korea, from Seoul, Korea to Vladivostok. Um, let's see, if we go to the actual details, it shows you how long the flights are. Looks like we got them all non-stop. That's pretty crazy. We got them all non-stop. We got them for all under $606. And Asian Airways is pretty good. I haven't flown with these guys yet. Vanilla Air is okay. Jetstar I'm not crazy about. Um, so yeah, there's just a bunch of different airlines. So let's go back. And there's actually yeah, 608. They're all pretty good prices. I mean, we're actually get six different flights for almost a hundred dollars each, which is great because you could see, you know, five or six different countries or five or so different countries. So you're seeing Indonesia, you're seeing Taiwan, you're seeing the Philippines, you're seeing Japan, you're seeing Korea, and you're seeing Russia. So six different countries for under uh, under six hundred dollars. That's phenomenal. Um, that's what's great about using Skyscanner. So if you guys, if you guys have any questions, I know this isn't a very long video. If you guys have any questions about how to uh, how to get different flights or different locations, or if you want any more information, just let me know. And I'm actually going to look up real quick the distance between um, how far we're actually flying in total, or like just let's just say from Indonesia, from Bali, Indonesia, all the way to Vladivostok. It is. Um, 5,966 kilometers. That's a pretty good distance. And that, that goes out to about 3,700 uh, miles. So you guys, you're being able to fly 
almost 4,000 miles, over 5,000 kilometers for under $600. I mean, that's, I think that's pretty affordable. That's totally do. You can see different country for $100 each. Um, you're in each place for a week. I mean, you're in Japan for two weeks, but you know, you're, you're starting in Indonesia and then you're ending in Russia. So, um, that's, that's how you get six different flights for under $700. Hope you guys liked it. If you do, please uh, hit that like button. If you got any questions, put it in the comments. Um, I would love a comment and subscription if you want to see the next videos that I have about travel hacks. I'm going to have a bunch more videos about travel hacks on this series. I'm doing at least 10. And if you guys have any anything you want me to do, I'm going to add more on, on top of that. Maybe, maybe just keep on going. And um, Anyway, guys, peace out. Take care and cheers.